There are two words that will send shivers down the spine of any newly qualified doctor in the UK. Black Wednesday. Black Wednesday. Black Wednesday. The National Changeover Day. Entirely new cohort of doctors coming to the hospital. I still have trauma from that day. My name is Faye, I'm 24 years old, and I am one of the newly qualified doctors who experienced said shivers down one spine. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's a big fat no. A lot has improved since the first reports of Black Wednesday came out a few years ago, mainly that most new doctors get an induction week before they start. Kind of like when you're in year six and you get to go to the big school for a day. You get to shadow a doctor you'll be taking over from. I'm exhausted. You get to know your new hospital. Like I didn't want this hospital. And overall just iron out any possible teething issues so that you can hit the ground running. And the only way to go from here is down. But unfortunately for me there were a lot more teething issues than I could have ever anticipated. Same messy room, same dishevelled and getting up bed clips. The only difference is, baby, we switched the miss for a doctor. <laughs> oh. Welcome to my first week as a working woman, guys. I start my new job today. And when I say new job, I mean new job as a doctor. <laughs> Sorry, I need to stop saying that because I'm so big headed. I can't have greasy hair for my first day. Let's get you washed. Sorry guys. So this is what we're currently dealing with. Also, this is a travel towel. I haven't unpacked my proper towels. Oopsies. Nothing too exciting to report on for my first day. It was pretty much just jam-packed with welcome talks and of course, getting to know some of the other new doctors that were starting. Well guys, I don't know if I'm gonna jinx it by saying this, but I actually had the best first day. It's always gonna be a really, 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 really tough transition. Because obviously if there weren't any challenges, then you wouldn't grow. And it's a challenging role, you know, I knew that. However, I'm feeling very positive. The hospital that I'm in, I haven't heard a bad word said about it. Like I didn't want this hospital. And I'm really starting to feel like getting this hospital was a little bit of a, what's meant to be, is meant to be moment. I feel like it's gonna be a really, really, really good basis for me for my first year as being a doctor. And the only way to go from here is down, unfortunately. So maybe they could have made today a little bit worse. Right, so current situation is I am eating a veggie bacon butty out of a Tupperware because I don't have any other food. I don't have any fairy liquid. I don't have any dishwasher tablets. And also I can't really sit on the couch. So floor bacon butty it is. After my pretty sad nutrient sparse dinner, I got cracking with my unpacking, which I definitely should have done a few days before I started working. That's when I was choosing which flat I wanted. It's 25 pound extra in rent, depending on what floor you want. If you're on the fifth floor, you're paying 125 more than the person on the bottom floor for the same flat, okay? Obviously 25 pound doesn't seem like that much but every month. So I couldn't really understand what 25 pound a month would be paying for. Now I've got my little pop princesses playlist on. I just want to boogie my little heart out, but I'm a little bit scared that people can see my window. I'm kind of understanding why. Don't need all that on. Just that. Right guys, it is pretty late. And obviously I just had that little bacon bay earlier, but I haven't had a proper dinner. It's nearly midnight. And I realized it was getting late. So I ended up panic buying some veggie sausages and I'm just gonna make myself a veggie sausage bab. Like this has honestly been, I reckon, the least nutritious day of my entire life. But it's also been a big day. I could have avoided this by getting here earlier yesterday and obviously sorting out a grocery shop. But here we are, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. A second survival meal of the day. Do you know what? I'm not even mad. Obviously, they're not very healthy, but... Cool, blimey, are they delicious? Oh. Also, I am becoming more and more concerned about the whereabouts of my steamer as I have no more non-creased placement clothes. So I don't know what I'm going to be wearing tomorrow. My alarm went off at 7 o'clock. It is now 2 minutes to 8. Probably 8 by now. The session doesn't start till... Nine today, but I wanted to cycle in. So I wanted to leave at eight. As you can see, I'm still in my pajamas and I'm still in bed. I keep trying to psych myself up to get in my cold shower. I also don't have any coffee. <sighs> Come on, Faye. Get it together. Trying to find an outfit that isn't crinkled when you have no iron is exhausting. Let's try again. 
You guys already know that my go-to that never fails me is a good quality shirt and trouser combo. But later on in the week, I did manage to pull it together as I am not a child anymore. I'm a young professional baby. So I managed to up my game a little bit with a haul from Lily Silk and I'll pop the product details on screen now. I am obsessed obsessed and of course in the description box as well guys i'm pretty sure my imposter syndrome just disappeared the silk is obviously incredibly soft and smooth on your skin but also durable and long lasting i feel like as i've got older i've become far more focused on buying quality mix and match pieces that look effortless and will stand the test of time making silk shirts the perfect investment for my professional wardrobe that will last for years and years to come from lily silk i also got a silk pillowcase and silk curling headband and scrunchie set which i use later in the video this is in an effort to treat my hair better after causing so much damage as a 14 year old who used to bleach it every six weeks. My silk pillowcase reduces friction on my hair and minimizes tangling and the curling headband means I use less heat on my hair and of course cause less damage. There will be many, 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 many discount sales on their website. Oh my god, I feel like a doctor princess. During their anniversary month so make sure you don't miss out but of course as a loyal viewer you can also use my code BAIT12 to get an extra 12% off any purchase and get 15% off orders over $350 using code BAIT15. Okay now back to much 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 more disheveled looking fay. Just one more outfit change then surely I will make it out the door. Right so I am gonna, I'm gonna cycle, I am gonna cycle, I'm gonna cycle. But as you can see I did just end up driving. Guys I realise half way through the day that I forgot to pay for my parking. Run! And just when I thought the day couldn't get any worse. In three, two, one. That morning whilst I'd been at the hospital, the caretaker had been into my flat to try get the hot water working and fiddled around with the latch. Now, silly me, hadn't quite sussed out the latch. So despite noticing that the door wouldn't open when I pulled the handle like normal, that unfortunately did not raise any alarm bells. And after getting back from the hospital at 10.30 p.m., I was locked out. Well, 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 guys. Hello. If you were wondering what on earth happened to the vlog last night and why I have tissue paper up my nose, let me just really quickly fill you in. If you have me on Instagram, then, then I'll pop a timestamp here for where you need to skip to. Right, well guys, let's just say that day number two was not as good as day number one. So you may be wondering, Faye, Faye, why on earth are you sat on, sat on some stairs? Well, I will come on to that, but basically I just got back from the hospital, it's 10 o'clock. The reason that I ended up staying late is I found out that my first day by myself, not shadowing someone, not part of the induction, so next Wednesday, I'm on call, I'm on call. So I thought, right, I'm going to stay late and I'll see a handover before I'm the one who's responsible, made a responsible big girl decision and I stayed till eight o'clock. I came back and I'd locked myself at my flat. I have no contact number for anyone who could let me in, back into my flat. The caretaker's not here. I'm literally stuck. I'm stuck in the hallway of my flat. It's 10 o'clock. To make matters even worse, tomorrow morning I've got my intermediate life support course at half eight and I've got to do like the online bits before the course tomorrow morning, which I still haven't done. Um, I also have a deadline for social media that also is due tomorrow. And um, I haven't unpacked, I haven't unpacked yet. I haven't eaten, I've had a banana all day, all day. So who knows, maybe I will end up sleeping right here, right here. So I did just get let into my flat. The caretaker was very apologetic. Now, luckily, one of my friends, who is actually interrailing at the moment, so not even at her house, lives close to here, and her mother is very, 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 very kind, and let me stay in her house. I did get home, but I rocked up to their house at 11 p.m. last night, literally in my hospital clothes. <laughs> and then, then to make matters worse, I just get in, and I rub my nose and a little scab comes off and basically there was a scab on my nostrils because on Sunday when I just spent the entire day crying my little heart out, I was so snotty and teary. The skin around my nose got so dry that I gave myself a cut on my nose, like rubbed off the scab this morning and then my nose starts profusely bleeding. So all in all, that's great. It's currently 11 o'clock. Really, really, really luckily I was able to move my life support course to tomorrow morning instead with a different group and I've got to go into the hospital at two for another induction course and then I think I'm going to stay late to make up for the fact that I didn't go in this morning. 
But I'm gonna. Jesus Christ. It's a pigeon. Bloody hell. Oh, and also, the reason the caretaker came into my flat to fix the hot water. Smell no hot water. So it's looking like a cold shower back into the hospital. Probably another late finish. Woo! So this is my launch. It's sausage. Veggie sausage, quinoa, veggies, and seasoning, which I will eat on the floor again. Oh, so I just got home, and all I want to do is unpack, get my flat a little bit more sorted. But I can't. I have an exam to sit. An exam. An exam. Guys, I said I'd save my corn chicken nuggets for my first bad day. Today has not been a bad day. Today has been an absolutely fine day. But I'm so tired. <gasps> so tired. Option number two, if I decide to pull it together and not use my corn chicken nuggets, is I do have the Heinz pasta sauce. I thought that could be fun. I got the lentil ragu. Really, I would just have to boil some pasta and maybe, if I can be bothered, chop up some courgette. Probably not chop up some courgette. I can do that. I can do that. I can even have nice pasta. Whenever I do a group grocery shop, I always forget to get, like, snacks. I can never get snacks. And then I get to this point and I just want snacks. Listen, guys, I want to be good. I really, 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 really want to be good. I didn't want to spend that much money. As I have mentioned, I am over budget on the rent here. And I kind of told myself, Faye, no Uber Eats, no Uber Eats. But right now I need a cuddle. And when I say cuddle, I mean a delivered dessert. I have so much to do tonight. I need to sit this exam and there's a million other things that I need to do, like life admin stuff that I need to do. And do you know what? It's all gonna wait because I had a rough night last night and I think I need, I think I need a night of cuddling myself. And what do I mean by cuddling myself? I mean doing absolutely all and eating some unhealthy, overpriced Uber food. Oh God. My first Uber Eats slash delivery, I can't remember which one I got, in my new flight. First of many, and who would like to see what I got? Oh, my mum's just called me, so it's gonna have to be quick. <laughs> so, I'm not familiar with this joint, but in an effort to stick to the budget, I went for the option with the cheapest delivery fee, and it was 79p, and the donuts were £2.99. So I was thinking, this isn't too bad, Faye, this isn't too bad. We are making some progress with the delivery Uber Eats issue. <laughs> However, then I kind of thought, oh no, but like what if I'm, I'm not satisfied afterwards? Like I, I hate that feeling. And then I saw that they had a Kinder Bueno chocolate cookie dough and with ice cream. So let's have a looky look. I believe this is the Kinder Bueno. Hmm, and ice cream. I'm in the mood to have a little bite out of all of them and then maybe like save half an hour for tomorrow. Hi, sorry, I put my phone on do not disturb after 10 o'clock. Of course, I had to tell my mum and dad all about the dramatic week so far and why it was so absolutely necessary for me to have a Kinder Bueno waffle to heal my wounds before finally getting around to having a look at the pre-course exam. This was for my intermediate life support, so it went through all the steps you take when someone has a cardiac arrest or looks like they could be heading that way. We went through this in med school, but I felt so much more confident going through it given that on my first shift, I would be holding the crash bleep, which means I would be part of the team that got called if someone had a cardiac arrest. Morning guys, I woke up earlier on the road to 5am again, on the road to 5am and I'll tell you why, 
because I didn't do my exam last night and I need to do it this morning before I start my course. I'm gonna give you a quick guess on how long you think me doing my makeup every single morning for work lasted. You may notice that I'm looking a little bit nicer today. That is because even though I do not have an eye in, little top tip for you, if, if you hang up your clothes when you're having a shower, when you're having a really like steamy hot shower, it tends to get out all the crinkles. It's literally like giving your clothes a steam, which obviously is ideal given that I have no idea where my steamer is. Um, but this shirt is actually from Lily Silk. I was very shush, 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 shush. I was very lucky I got quite a few from Lily Silk. They will be making regular appearances. The other thing is my home girlies got me a Chili's flask taking us to the hospital. What does that do? Ah. 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 However, I still do not have a kettle. So we are boiling water on a pan like the ye olden days. Oh, and also my chilies mug. In my coffee this morning, I'm actually going to try something a little bit different. You may know that I am a black coffee girl through and through. However, the past few mornings I've not been getting in my breakfast really. So I do think it is important that I get in some form of calories in the morning, even if I am finding it hard with like my appetite in the morning. So I'm gonna put some milk in my coffee. Now, normally I would go for a soy milk. That would be my favorite plant milk. However, we were talking about pea milks with Dylan's mum and dad the other day. And I thought, oh, then I saw it in Sainsbury's the other day. So I got a pea milk. Apparently it is quite good for the environment, quite good protein wise. I mean, I have no idea what it's like taste wise, but I will keep you updated. Please ignore my gross burnt pan. It's literally the same pot that I've had since first year of med school. So maybe it is time for a new one. After sacking it off for many days in a row, I finally pulled it together and plucked up the courage to ride my bike in. And we're gonna do it. It's finally happening. Wish me luck. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's big fat now. I am very, 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 very grateful that I have yesterday's donut. Today was manic. This is the first thing I've eaten all day. You know when I said, oh, my appetite's really, really, really struggling to eat in the morning. Well, that was really, really, really stupid because basically I cycled in. Let's start with the cycle. Let's start with the cycle. I cycle in. I knew it was like 37 minutes, but I'm thinking I'm young, I'm fit, I'm healthy. This is Apple Maps. Surely your gal is gonna be a little bit quicker than that, you know? 24 years old, get a little pace on it, we're fine. And I knew it was hilly, didn't realize how hilly. It was such a difficult cycle. Horrific, horrific. Yeah, it really humbled me in terms of my fitness level. Then I arrive, I take off my jacket, I look down, I've got the biggest sweat marks dripping down my arms. Oh, let the train go. Come on, come on. I'm about eight minutes late because I took a wrong turn and I'm like walking in trying to like hide my massive sweat patches. Then we do our intermediate life support, which obviously is quite, you know, mentally stimulating. I'm really thinking about how to keep people alive. I'm, you know, thinking about all the different things I learned in medical school about bringing someone back to life. Because also, I don't know if I mentioned this one, don't know if I mentioned it, but my first day by myself, I have the crash bleep. So that means if someone's heart stops, I'm one of the doctors who gets called to the person whose heart has stopped. So I am taking notes. I'm very, 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 very mentally switched on in our intermediate life support session. When it is me on Wednesday, I want to feel 100% confident about the role that I have to do, which probably will just be chest compressions. But, you know, I want to be switched on. Then I look over and the session's overrun. It was 8.30 to 1.30, but it was meant to finish before that. And I'm thinking, it's okay, I've got half an hour before I've got to sit, prescribe an exam in the afternoon. No, 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 no. The prescribing assessment started at half one, which means I did not get a lunch. And not only did I not get a lunch, I went straight from one intellectually stimulating activity straight into another incredibly intellectually stimulating activity. That finished at about four o'clock. I then had another cycle home. I've just got back. I'm eating my donut. I'm feeling very sorry for myself because also, I have a night ahead of me of things that really, really, really need to get sorted. I still haven't unpacked my flat. I still don't have Wi-Fi. I haven't even signed up for my water and my electricity bills. 
edit interview, messages to reply to. I'm exhausted. I'm absolutely exhausted. And this is my induction week. First on the evening's priority list, establish some sense of order in my new flat. I'm so happy I'm getting back into an early morning routine. <sighs> well guys, you can tell that I'm getting it together because I'm in my lily silk again. This one's the black shirt that I got. Not sure if I'm really feeling the low burn, but I am gonna try cycle in today again so I have my hair lower and so it goes under the helmet. But yeah, not only am I wearing my lily silk, I'm also gonna make myself some breakfast. Because I've been really struggling to get my calories in this week. I put in a scoop of my Huel salted caramel into the yogurt. Now I definitely shouldn't have done a scoop. I think I probably should have done maybe like half a scoop. Just because taste wise I had to put in the whole thing of yogurt to make it taste good. But also I think it adds a little bit of sweetness. I might put some honey on this and then I've just got frozen berries. Even just when I was living with just me and Evie. I think buying groceries for one person or like two people. It's so easy for things to go out of date. Heavily, 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 heavily rely on tin stuff and frozen stuff just so things don't like go to waste. If you're buying fresh food all the time, it's just so, 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 so much more high maintenance. And also I feel like berries are quite expensive and frozen berries are way, way, way cheaper. But obviously that does mean that I do need to wait for this to like defrost a little bit because I don't have a microwave yet. And I'm just gonna crack on with a little bit of YouTube-y stuff. The way I see myself keeping up with YouTube whilst also being able to be a full-time doctor is by waking up early. And I don't know if I said I was going to go less than full-time, so I was going to go 60%. But then I decided that I'm going to just have no life for the next year and try and make it all work. So if you see me crying a couple of times, that's probably why. Despite my vow from the previous day that I would never ever ever be cycling again, I managed to pull it together and grow up and give cycling into work another go. Week one, baby! Yeah! Really, I cannot give myself credit that that is week one done because it was my induction week, so I don't think that really counts. However, I'm gonna take the win. I'm gonna take the win. And I'm actually feeling good. I feel like I had a good day today. Cycled in again, which was a miracle. And I actually feel like I felt a lot more confident cycling in again. I was a bit quicker as well. And guys, I may have actually made some friends who is having a Barbie themed birthday party for birthday tonight. And I was kind of thinking, do I go, don't I go? I'm really, 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 really tired. But there are seven different types of rests. And right now, I feel like I'm lacking type dress up in head to toe pink, have some tequila rose and socialize rest. Oh my God, look at the mark where my helmet's been. I'm not sure if I've spoken about it that much on the vlog, but like the mission that I've been on trying to like repair my hair, I might put in like a little clip here of like what my hair looked like a couple of months ago when I have been bleaching it since I was 14, using heat on it all the time. Like I really, 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 really do not treat my hair very well. And then recently I have been trying to wash my hair maybe like once, twice a week, maybe like on a Monday so it's fresh for a Monday morning and like Friday so it's okay for the weekend, which isn't really even like I know, but I just don't really care if it's kind of gelled back in the week. Anyway, I am gonna wash my hair tonight because I do have plans tonight and I do have plans tomorrow as well. Obviously, Lily Silk, I mentioned earlier, which is where my shirt is from. They also very, very, very kindly sent me a heatless curler. It's six o'clock now. I'm gonna wash my hair now, pop it in the heatless curls. This is really good because it'll go, if your hair's really long, my hair is literally up to here. And then I'm gonna sit and do some work and speak to Dylan because I have not spoken to Dylan in ages. I mean, it doesn't look that appetizing, but like I just reheated my, my spinach, kidney bean and lentil pasta. Yeah, no, that doesn't sound that appetizing, but I promise it is tasty. And I'm gonna watch an episode of How to Get Away with Murder without Dylan. Dylan is in Thailand. Dylan is enjoying himself without me. I have nothing else to watch, nothing else to watch. So unfortunately, snooze you lose, Dil. Snooze you lose. 
I would say that as you can tell, I did not find my steamer. However, you already know by now that even if I had found my steamer, my dressing gown would still look like this. So my hair was a little bit wet still. So I just had to do the dryer, but let's see the finished result. Oh, it still feels a bit damp. I just try to dry it a little bit more. That is me ready. My first night out social event, I guess, with all new people. Like it's not anxiety inducing at all that I'm going somewhere completely by myself. I have to be up bright and early to get the train to Chester. So I will see you in the morning and let's hope that everyone is nice. Did you want to say hi to the vlog? Let's make some eggies! Nice. I haven't used the oven yet, you know, Dill. Of course, I did not have a toaster, so please excuse the bread in the pan moment. No toaster, no iron, and no table to eat my food at. This was the result of actually sleeping in the heatless curlers and using them as intended. I was getting the train up to Chester for a friend's birthday. Now, I don't know why on earth I thought it would be a good idea to do a five hour public transport journey in a white skirt. Not my most intelligent moment. Didn't take my vitamins yesterday. Two magnesium, two probiotics, one vitamin D. I think this is my like skin and, ah! Skin and hair one. No vitamin D now. And, don't try this at home, kids, but I like to do it all in one. <sighs> that is definitely a choking hazard. I did try and get a little bit of editing done on the journey up. In my current rotation, I work one in every five weekends. So I was very, very, very grateful to have this one off for my friend's birthday. Sorry, Nigel Farage, trigger warning. Not sure how he wound up on the wall of a bar in Chester. Do it, drink it again. Oh, so backstory on that one it was actually Sophie's New Year's resolution to enjoy Aperol spirits and not just pretend to enjoy Aperol spirits. It was a long way to go up for the weekend but I cannot think of a better way to decompress after my first week of being a doctor especially because the next day we even got to watch Molly May's engagement video all together. Oh my god! I love it. I mean, it's cute. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, baby. Are you going to continue working? Hello, guys and gals. I am home and I have not taken off my makeup. <gasps> Tell found off your next order. Oh my god. Wow. Um, I haven't taken off my makeup still since last night and not ordering Uber Eats or delivery is going really, 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 really well. I got a pasta evangelist. I am starting to get a little bit overwhelmed by having London delivery options because like, how am I supposed to decide? What is this? Oh, pine nuts. I got pine nuts as an extra. <gasps> the catcher. Oh, that's good. DC. Oh, I got more pine nuts. And I got a mushroom. Ooh. Oh, Lord Almighty. Wow. I got a mushroom ravioli. And I am on the phone to my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful boyfriend, which is nice. I'm going to speak to him a little bit more. And then maybe, just maybe sort out my life because I have work tomorrow. Work. Hello, Anson. Hello. I'm having a poo. Why did you answer the phone? Just to tell you, just to let you know. I'll call you back. Okay. I'm actually not, I'm not, I'm not I've just, I just got in to have one, but I'll call you back. Yeah, I just don't need to know bye. any of these details. Bye, love you, bye. <laughs> 
I must say that I definitely notice living alone the most when I'm eating. So far I haven't felt too lonely but I do definitely feel it when I have no one to talk to when I'm having my dinner. Alright guys that is the end of vlog if you did enjoy please don't forget to like comment subscribe i hope you have a wonderful 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 week and i will see you in the next video how are you finding living alone i don't think i realized how lonely i was i do feel really lonely